Hi guys, welcome to uh, 123 Migration. We wanted to give you a quick update on all of the changes uh, that are happening in regards to business sponsored visas. Um, so the, the government uh, yesterday outlined that there are huge changes in store for March 2018 and they've also said that there's going to be some interim uh, changes. But um, what I wanted to do is just give you a quick summary of what these changes are so that uh, you're able to ask your migration agent or um, you know you understand your, your position. So when you look at the old 457, um, you used to be able to apply uh, with an occupation that is on the CSOL or the SOL list. Um, however, that is now changing. Um, so in March 2018, they've uh, changed the lists so that the CSOL list is now called the Short-Term Skilled Occupation List, which is the STOL, STSOL, sorry. And then you've got the, um, the SOL list is now the MTL SSL which is called the Medium and Long-Term Strategic Skills List. So that's the medium to long-term versus the short-term. Now, what are these new changes that are coming in? Well, the short-term list will only allow you to get a visa for two years only. Uh, so this will be a two-year visa. Whereas those people that are on the medium to long-term list uh, you will be able to get a four-year visa maximum. But the short-term list is only a two-year visa. So on that short-term list as well, you are only able to have one renewal, which means that you can only be in Australia uh, and renew your visa once. You won't be able to uh, renew it time and time again. However, if you're on the medium to long list, you can have ongoing renewal. There's no problem with that. There is increased uh, focus on English with these new changes and I believe you'll need an IELTS uh, of 4.5 across all bands and 5 overall for the short term list and on the long term list I think you'll need 5 overall. So those have gone up as well. So the major thing that has really changed for this new visa is that you will require two years of relevant work experience to actually apply for this new type of visa. Uh, in the old 457, the two years work experience, relevant work experience, wasn't really necessary. But in this new format, uh, work experience is highly regarded. The other big change that you'll find is that only those people that are on the medium to long term list will have opportunities for a permanent residency. Although there will be still opportunities uh, for in regional areas for particular skill sets. Hopefully that will give you an idea of the changes that will be coming in in March 2018. Please subscribe and uh, we'll get you some more updates uh, in the near future. Okay, bye.